Yo, what's good, Reflection? I'm hop right into this download. I, I just uploaded into my DNA and it just, you know, came out to my, gene, my genetics. But <clears throat> it's so important because we talk about melanin, but we never talk about neuromelanin. This is why people by the equator, right by the sun, that harness a lot of uh, electricity as far as you melanin goes, still do fuck shit. This is why black people can do very evil shit because of neuromelanin. We don't talk about neuromelanin. Everybody's always talking about you melanin, that make the thing that make you black. Oh, we got melanin. Oh, <clears throat> I'm melanated. Let me explain to you so that you can properly understand the difference between your eumelanin and your neuromelanin. Your neuromelanin is, connects to your heart. The first, the first, uh, we're talking about eumelanin, we're talking about that triple darkness, that triple blackness. We're talking about um, the mind, of the consciousness, consciousness itself, uh, you know, all of thought, frequency. We're talking about God. We talk about neuromelanin. Why is that important? Because everything starts from the nervous system, and the nervous system is what communicates through synopsis and electricity that allows the consciousness to flow through to the penile gland, okay, um, or the pineal gland. Now, I want to make this very simple because I don't want to complicate it. I want it to be very simple that anybody can understand what I'm saying to them. Um, you have... You melanin. You melanin is a lot like a solar panel, which absorbs all of the elements in the form of light. Oxygen. You uh, melanin brings in uh, radiation as far as light. Um, it, it, it absorbs uh, water. It absorbs all of these elements. The earth. It absorbs all of this. Right. And it plays as a battery to the ATP as far as the mitochondria DNA. It harnesses energy in there and empowers and gives power to the cells. It's like it's just electricity. It's just a power source. That's where it gets its power from. So melanin is so important because um, when, when, you have, when you're brown, you, you become this battery. Like your skin is a battery. Your being is this battery that actually absorbs life into itself and, and all of life 99% of life is absorbed by this energy and you harness this energy the problem is that's not good enough if your neuromelanin which is your nervous system <coughs> neuromelanin is all throughout your it's pitch black it's all throughout your um, nervous system it's all throughout it's what, it's what uh, allows the mind to work the mind, the soul to come in. And so this neuromelanin is wired from DNA and it's also wired by your astrological energy and your karma, okay? Now listen, this is to me very close. I'm gonna, it's like it, it can go deep. So I, I'm trying to keep it so that, that I'm, I'm feeding you milk, but this can go very deep. And even when it goes deep, I want to make it simple for you. So listen very closely. Your neuromelanin is the consciousness or the program, and I'll, and I'll put it like this. You, you could have an iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 is, let's say that's a black man. That's a black body, okay? And it's capable of doing such things as long as it has the battery. It needs to pull the battery in. But if the phone is dead, that means it has no battery, then, you know, then you can't use it. You can't use the phone. Okay, so that, that's how white people are, where they will have less battery. So they're less uh, able to harness energy. They're not as strong. They get weak as far as disease goes. And, you know, eumelanin also helps you with uh, repairing DNA. They, 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 they have diseases that are genetically modified when they don't have this MSH. And, you know, basically the, penis, the uh, pituitary gland... It's what sin. It's what sin in the endocrine system, as far as the uh, hormone system. It is vibrating at a certain frequency that allows you to have a certain amount of melanocytes. These melanocytes are come from the, what is called the MSH. The MSH is a hormone uh, that is sent out to produce melanocytes. And w w people that lack melanin actually are not. They're just vibrating at the f 
at a lower frequency of the universe. So they have melanin, but it's at a very at a very low frequency. This is why everybody is truly brown. Truly, everybody is brown. They're just at a lower frequency of the universe, vibrating at its lower frequency because of the mutation that they have. They have they have a mutate. They have a mutated uh, uh, genes that express itself on that frequency. So when we talk about information in the Akashic records, we're talking about DNA, and then we're talking about what DNA is picked, what, gen what genes off the DNA is picked to express that will express the being that, 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 it, that it's expressing. Now, if a gene is mutated, then it's genetically modified. That means that the, the, it doesn't have the organic information to express itself the way it's supposed to because the gene is shut off or shut on, and so it's a mutation. Therefore, the gene is damaged. This is why melanin repairs genes. This is why all light-skinned brown people, which we call Caucasians, should build up melanin in the sun and should lock their hair and go close to the equator and be close to the earth and become more natural and living. I've seen, you know, uh, lighter brown people. We have to be scientific with this. I want to be scientific with it. Lighter brown people actually that um, build melanin and get on the frequency of the planet and, and, uh, and don't get burnt by the sun because they're eating food that is in frequency with the planet. And um, you can build melanin, but those that don't choose to, but, but check this out. There are people on this planet that are melanated that do evil shit because their neuromelanin is programmed to a, that's the program. The program, as far as the software, of your phone say if you got an iphone but the software is an Android. okay we got an iphone here this is the this is the high-tech phone it's it's made to hold the utmost highest frequency of software that there is out there this this computer right here has the room the space to vibrate at the highest frequency of any software that, that it can it has the capacity to hold any software or on it the hardware has the capacity to show to, to hold any software on it yet we're only running a lower software on it like Android on an iPhone so not saying not, this is not about Android I, iPhone but I'm just saying that let's say that the iPhone is the melanated man the melanated man um, is able to vibrate at the highest uh, frequency of the universe it's able is has the uh, ability to doesn't mean that it will because uh, depending on the neural depending on the, the neural melanin and this programming meaning at birth you were told you had a name you were told uh, you existed and then another thing I wanted to throw in here you know, about the pedophile thing and the baby about what I was doing is that it's funny that a, a child does not know it exists until you tell it it exists. It doesn't know it's naked until you tell it's naked. And that was my main point of talking about that. It keeps interrupting because somebody's calling. Somebody keeps calling my phone. They need to stop. If they were following me, they knew I was live. If they were following me. So I didn't even talk to me. If they didn't even know I'm live, right? So uh, a child doesn't even know it exists. It doesn't know it has hands. It doesn't know what an arm is. It doesn't know what eyes is. It, it is completely God. We take that from it. We we are the devil. We are the snake. In the Bible, Adam and Eve didn't know that they were naked until they ate of the fruit. But something tempted them to eat that fruit. Now, fruit, not fruit, not fruit that you eat with like here, but fruit that we eat with our minds, the knowledge that was given to them that they were naked. Someone told them they were naked. And we we play as the serpent to our children. We play the serpent as our children don't know they exist. They don't know they have eyes. They don't know they have ears. They don't know they're a boy. They don't know they're a girl. They don't know none of those programs. You feed them the fruit and taint them. This was what I was talking about in my video. My video is that I don't want my son to know he's naked. If he touches my penis, he doesn't know that's a penis. He doesn't know what that is. But if I push him away and shame him and be like, don't touch me there, you don't touch there, then I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving him the program of understanding that he even exists. We tell people, this is that color, this is this color. You, you, we take the mind of God. God, the child is God. It doesn't know it exists. It doesn't know it has a penis or a vagina or it, it doesn't know it's naked. And so what I was saying in my video is that I don't allow my children to even understand that we are the ones that play Satan, the serpent.
that comes and tempts and tells our children and takes their innocence away. So when God came up to Adam and Eve and said, why are you covering up? Who told you you was naked? They were ashamed. And because that they were cursed, we have the ability to reverse this curse with our children. That's what I was saying in my video. Then they turned me into a pedophile because how they clipped it. I wasn't talking about a cognitive kid that knew uh, a, a, a kid standing in the room having sex with a kid in the room. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm saying that a child doesn't know it exists. It doesn't know it's naked. It's pure. It's God at its highest frequency. And what we do is lower its frequency by telling it it has eyes. Baby, point to your eyes. Point to your nose. Point to your mouth. Point to your ears. You are programming them into oblivion. Fuckery. They don't know they have ears. They don't know they exist. They don't know they're a boy. Just imagine if you never told a child what it was. It would be God. If we can be pure and be children, then what we create can become God. We will allow it to be the Garden of Eden again. If we don't play the snake that makes them eat the fruit. Capiche? So when I said, my son, I, maybe I used the wrong word, play with my dick, I could get it. I see what they would think. Like, oh, he played with your dick. No, 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 no. If my son touches my penis, I don't smack his hand away. He knows he has a penis. The kids are curious. They do that. Not having sex in front of a child that is cognitive or uh, looking at me having sex. That's crazy. It's not what I said. I'm trying to keep the purity of the child is what I said. And that's why I, I if a child come here, I'm not going, if, if they come and join our group, I'm not going to stop being myself and people will say I was a pedophile. That's why I didn't let people in the group. And that's what I was saying in the video. But they try to turn me into a pedophile because of their what? Neuromelanin. Because they're sick. Someone touched them. So therefore they couldn't understand the purity of what I was saying. But I know how it sounds and people ran with that. And it's sad because very, it, it, and I tell people, the video wasn't for me. It was for you because your response to it is what you should be worried about. Your response to what you heard and how you responded to it, look at yourself. Look what it's got you to the point of hating someone, wanting to kill someone. And I don't give a fuck if you did find a pedophile. What's going on in you to make you want to go kill somebody? That's just crazy. Your heart is heavy and you need to look at deep inside of yourself to see what's going on. That's not what I was saying. So, back to neuromelanin, the importance of it. The way we wire our children when they're born, we're wiring their neuromelanin synopsis, the way we eat, we're wiring our tongue, which is connected to our neurons in our brain that fire off. Synopsis make uh, 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 memories muscle memories, your tongue is, a, is part of your brain, what you eat, it programs you to, oh, I can't stop eating meat. Well, how y'all stop eating meat? Well, you have to reprogram your neuromelanin. Your neuromelanin is your connection to the ether. And a lot of us in Africa, in Jamaica, are wired under the wrong consciousness and genetically modified information. Uh, we, have mutate, we have mutated genes that allow us to express our ignorance. Now, our skin is a battery. You melanin is nothing more than a battery. It just harnesses energy that powers our neuromelanin. Our neuromelanin is our consciousness. How conscious are you? If you bleach in your skin, how conscious are you? So we become batteries for ignorance, for European, con um, uh, for European understandings like Christianity, thinking God is white, thinking God is a man, Thinking God is a man is a, in the sky. We turn everything, more, we make it more. We, we're a battery because we harness energy at its highest frequency due to you melanin as far as a, uh, as, as, a, as a solar panel. We harness in power, but what are we powering? What's the neuromelanin? What's the program 
of the software that we're powering and expressing. That is what's in, what the neural melanin is important. It doesn't matter how black you are. You could be as black as the motherfucking uh, triple black universe as far as your skin color, but your neural melanin can be something that is a software that is programmed to a European software. So basically you're harnessing and powering, and that's what we do with hip hop. That's what we do with all of, of, of their cultures. We praise and enhance their cultures. That's what hip hop, hip hop is the most ignorant form of Europeanism, and we praise it. We take, we, they gave us a hat. We took the hat and turned it backwards. We just took it and enhanced it. We enhanced the ignorance. They are already poor because they live on the planet. They're poor. They don't have, they're not rich. They're very poor people. Poor people don't live in tune with, with life. Europeans culture doesn't in tu live in tune with nature, so they're poor really. So we take their poverty and their poorness and we enhance it. That's why melanated people, as far as dark skinned people all over the world are perishing because we enhance their ignorance. We're living in our lower selves. We're taking on their neuromelanin. Their neuromelanin is their consciousness, their mind. Our minds are wired wrong because we're taught wrong with the information that we get as children. And our ancestors and our so-called people that we that, that so-called families have programmed us, gave us our names, gave us the information, made us go to school, set up all these obstacles for us. And we have to figure this stuff out for ourselves. That's why you have a spirit guide like myself to make you become aware and enlightened again so that you know what the fuck is going on so that you can unravel this your the synopsis that's been played out already. Then you got some people that have less melanin, you melanin on their skin, but their neuron their neuromelanin is connected more to the ether than someone with darker skin. This is why certain Caucasian or what you call people less melanated people, less brown people are some closer to nature. They got locks and they and they want to be in tune with nature. They're fruitarians. They want to get closer to earth and they're teaching this stuff because they're neuromelanin. And if you want to understand neuromelanin, you have to understand your astrological chart. Okay? Because you have three planets that are feminine. This is in your astrological chart. You got your moon sign, which is considered a planet. You have your Venus. And then you have your Jupiter. These are the three feminine planets. What sign are they in? What position they're in? This is telling you how your neuromelanin will be wired. Then you have three masculine planets. You have your Sun, you have your Mercury, and you have your Saturn. Okay. Um, these three... Uh, no, no, no. You have... Um, I, I apologize. Your Sun sign, it is, it's, that's just the power source of all of them. You have your uh, Mercury, you have your Mars, and you have your Saturn. Okay, your Mercury, Mars, and Saturn is actually your masculine planets. What house are they in? What degree in the house they're in? And what, what degree depends on where the house will be. But these three are masculine energies. And if those are in the wrong place or refracting like the wrong place, then you're going to have issues with your neuromelanin. And this is real. I'm just telling you the real truth of what's going on. Okay, just because you got melanin don't mean that you that god or king or pharaoh that you think you are if your neural melanin is not wired right meaning if your astrological energy this is why people in africa right smack dead dead on the sun do stupid shit because their neural melanin is programmed their consciousness is programmed to bullshit they believe in the if they strap a bomb on and blow themselves up that they're gonna have a hundred wives they're on a program their program that they're running they are super ignorant and everywhere you go Anywhere you go on this planet, melanated people are living in poverty. Mm -hmm. They live in poverty. Why? That's a question to ask. Why are we in poverty? Is, is, it, is it, do we have an oppressor or is it ourselves? Are we uneducated? Now we are in the information age. Now there's not a choice to be ignorant. Now it's not a, 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 a it's not, a, it's not, a, it's not mandatory to be ignorant no more. It's a choice. Because the information is there, you choose to be distracted with dumb shit that don't matter. Junk information. I'm doing a video about that. Junk information. My next video I'm going to be doing is about junk information. Let us on understand neuromelanin. That's the stuff that's down your spine, that's in your brain, that's in your heart, all through your nervous system. And that's so important because the first thing that develops in your body is your nervous system, is your heart, then your nervous system. 
then your brain. Your, your heart represents your mind, your soul. Okay? That's the first organ. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Everything else is... Your heart is the first organ to develop. Your heart is the center of what you are. Your heart. Now, your brain is an extension of your heart. Your heart makes the brain. Your heart makes your head. Your heart makes your arms. Your heart makes your legs to use to articulate itself. Remember, everything is based in your heart. You are a walking heart. So where's your Venus at? And what's its aspects to what other planets? You know, you, you need to understand these things in your chart so that you can understand how your neuromelanin is wired. Where's your Mercury at? Your Mercury is how your brain works. Your brain, Mercury represents the brain, the processing of the heart. The heart is being articulated by the brain. There's a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere of the brain. But the heart is being articulated by the brain, which processes everything. It processes reality, but really the heart is the centerpiece of all that we are. So we're walking hearts, expressing ourselves. And so... The brain, depending on, it, it represents from Mercury. This is where Mercury is at. Where is your Mercury at, okay? If Mercury is in a, 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 a Virgo, it's exalted in Virgo, it's able to, and the brain wants to analyze, and especially the left brain. The left brain wants to analyze, but then again, you want it to be in Taurus, or you want it to be in Libra, or not, not in Libra, um, Taurus or Gemini, where it's collecting data. Your brain wants to collect data. It wants to collect it, but you have a right, a left hemisphere, which which is for processing information and all that, and you have a right hemisphere, which actually articulates your artistic side, which is your feminine energy. So both sides is coming from the heart, where your Venus is at. Okay, so now that we understand that, we got three planets again. Three feminine planets are what? Moon, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, these are the three feminine planets. We got another three planets that are the masculine planets are Mercury, Saturn, and Mars. Mercury, Mars, and Saturn. These are your other masculine planets. So you want these signs as far as your feminine planets like the moon, Venus, and um, Jupiter. You want these in water signs. These are exalted in water signs. Okay, and you want them to be in water houses. Now, as far as the water houses, those are the... Uh, you have your water houses would be 8th house, 4th house, 8th house, and 12th house. Those are your water houses. 4th house represents Cancer's characteristics. 8th house represents Scorpio's characteristics. 12th house represents Pisces' re um, um, characteristics. You want those three planets, Jupiter, uh, Moon, and Venus, to be in the house, these water houses. They're exalted in these water houses because they connect the feminine energy there. You want them to be in feminine signs as Pisces, Scorpio, or, or Cancer. You want them to be in feminine signs. They're best in feminine signs. Now, you have your masculine energy as far as Saturn, Mars, and Mercury. You want them to be in, you know, more masculine signs. You understand? Saturn wants to be in Aries, Capricorn. You know, you these houses, You and then you have your masculine houses. Tenth house. Um, What? Uh... Ninth house, um, third third house, masculine. So you 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 have to understand these masculine feminine energies like this. This way you can understand the stars and how how your neuromelanin is actually wired. Okay, so this is the reason why you see melanated people struggling all over the planet is because we're under a software program. Now, that means. When a melanated being is actually connected to nature in their neural melanin, as far as their chart goes, their birth chart goes, it's actually wired to the ether, like myself. My chart is wired to the ether, plus I'm melanated, and I'm a melanated man. Um, you got a divine being. You got someone that's, that, that, that connects to the ether, that can actually harness power from all the elements, plus their neural melanin is connected to the ether. And their mind is wired right to understanding life the way it really is and what's really going on in the universe. Now you have a divine being that can actually enlighten and heal others, other people's neuromelanin. That's what 
a divine being is here to do. It is to rewire and give you the information. Only you can do it. It's to help you rewire your neural melanin, the synopsis between your neurons. You have to rewire them. You have to rewire your tongue, the way you eat, your taste buds. You have to rewire them. Remember, this is all obstacles that you came here to prove yourself to yourself. You must overcome all the obstacles that you logged into. When you logged into this reality from your first memory, okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. Check this out. This is how life works. Listen, you come from the first dimension. The first dimension is the first is God. That's thought. It's triple darkness. The field of possibility. And it's what quantum physics called the field. This is where you are. This is where you truly are. You are God. The one and all everything being. You are God. Okay? You manifested yourself here through thought in the second dimension, which is the microscopic dimension. That's where you came from, right? The second dimension. You manifested into the second dimension. In that dimension, you, you, you harnessed up enough cells. This is why everything is in units. Cells, cells, cells. You harnessed up enough cells in the second dimension, which is the microscopic dimension. You came from the second dimension. Your body, my being right now, is made up of trillions of cells together, condensed together, light condensed together to manifest into the third dimension. It's just like how ice, how water becomes ice. It manifests from frequency to manifest itself into a solid, which we would call a solid, but nothing's truly solid. Everything's always vibrating. So you come from the second dimension. You are collected you as a zygote cell. Popped up more zygote cells, more cells, more cells, more cells, more cells, more cells, until you popped into the third dimension. Now, this being that popped into the third dimension, simultaneously um, was able to log into a reality. Now, check it out. The body is made from the mind. It's made from the mind, right? But where you logged in on is where you have your first memory. That's where you logged into this reality. Just like you log in online, like me and you, we logged into this video, right? We know where the beginning of this video was, but did I exist before this video? Of course I existed before this video, but you log we logged in onto this video just in the beginning. Just like your life, you logged in at your first memory. You existed before that first memory. You just don't remember it because that's the essence of God's mind is amnesia, okay? What happened was, when you logged in onto this reality, this reality was created by everything you did in your last life. This is like a library. I liken it to a library. You got many books. You read one book, and in that book, you become one of the characters in that book. And you're like, oh, that book was good, and you close it. You put it away, you go to another book, and you become another character. You understand that? I liken it to that. I liken life to that. The character that you play, your ego, the ego that you feel, the thing that makes you feel like you're you, and life is projecting itself to you from you, the thing that makes you feel you is a character. There's two parts running. There's you, and then there's God running at the same time in your mind. God is the observer of your character, which is your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is God, and you are actually a, ca a conscious character that has condensed itself into a focused reality where you think that you are this being that you think that you are. This ego, this sense of self, is nothing more than a piece of subconscious that has focused itself into becoming conscious. Okay? It's going to get deep. Listen. So now, you're actually God and the character at the same time. That's why you can actually hear yourself thinking. That's why, while I'm talking, I can hear myself talking. And first party. If I say to you, I hate myself, what did you hear? You probably would say, consciously, that you, you just said that you hated yourself. No, actually, what you really heard, and this, your God... You only heard everything in one party, first party. Everything comes in first party. What you heard is, I hate myself. That's what your subconscious heard. Your subconscious doesn't know anything else exists outside of you. 
It doesn't know anything else exists outside of you. Because you are everything and everything is you. And until you understand that, you won't understand how reality works and you won't be able to live life correctly. But you are here to learn. And so certain people have the neuron connections to actually, the natural neuron connections that come here to be spirit guides and teachers to help you evolve to your higher self so that you can evolve out of that as far as the character that you're playing. The character that you're playing is going to get judged. It's being recorded by your subconscious, which is God. Now, the funny thing is, you might have believed that Jesus is white, and in your mind, in your subconscious mind, Jesus is white, and um, that's your savior, and that's your judge, and somebody told you that Jesus was going to judge you, and God was going to judge you at the end of the day. Guess what? When you die, a white Jesus is going to be there. That's your subconscious. Your subconscious, just it, had, it don't judge. It don't know right or wrong. You, you programmed it. They programmed you. They told you that Jesus was right, so Jesus is going to be white. It's going to be Jesus there. But know that that's God. That's you. That Jesus, that's you. It's judging yourself. So when you get to judge, every one of us is going to come to a place. Every one of y'all characters that's out there that's running. You're going to come to a place at the end of this, um, this journey. You're going to come to a place where you're going to ju be judged by your subconscious. You're going to see your life and see how where you did everything wrong, how you did everything wrong. And you're going to be like... Damn, you're going to feel everybody's pain. You're going to see where you were wrong and everything that you was wrong about. And you're going to be judged. And they, in, the book of dead, in the Book of the Dead, it's, they talk about your heart being lighter than a feather. Mm -hmm. And if, you're, if it's not, then you have to be condemned. But being condemned meaning that you have to uh, experience a life equivalent to the actions that you made in this one. That's why it's so important that you follow the laws of Mayat. It's so important that you take those seriously. When you truly understand how life is, you're not going to lie. You're not going to steal. You're not going to be so honest and true and pure. This is why Muslims walk around all day counting beads. Praying five times a day to stay conscious of what they're doing. They don't really understand this, but at the end of the day, it's to ensure that your next life is going to be paradise. Okay, so now that we understand that every one of you are being recorded, Whatever you say to someone else, now you make other people feel, you're going to feel it. You're going to know what, and that moment of judgment, it doesn't take long because there's no time. There's no time, doesn't really understand. You're going to be, you're going to, you're going to communicate telepathically to your subconscious. Your subconscious is going to show you everything you did wrong in a matter of seconds. Like, this is quick, boom. You're going to know everything that you did wrong in that time. And now the laws of the universe work. It's just mathematics. It doesn't matter. Like your, your character is mathematics. It's all been written already. You're going to see everything that you did wrong. And then you're going to have to experience a life in whatever energy form it takes for you to, un to get over those lessons. And everything is a cycle. All of our characters are a cycle. And now you have to, ex now your next reality, you've already created it. Let's say that you created yourself to be a white woman this lifetime. And so all of your actions create your mother right your father when you came into this earth your mother and father existed already ain't that crazy they already existed and they'll tell you that there's a timeline before you before them and you believe it but there's only you the observer there's only now what you're observing right now and everything that's coming after what you observe is nothing nothing exists everything disappears into you know when we're, we know that through quantum physics it's called the quantum effect the observer's effect, like when you're not looking at, a, at, a, at, a, at an electron, the electron does something totally different. I mean that our observation allows us to see this reality. And without us observing it, it doesn't exist. The only thing that exists when we're not observing it is a field of possibility. That field of possibility connects to the DNA and Akashic Records to give you your reality. You're being projected your reality to your own self. You see, so you're only experiencing you and a lot, like I said in other videos, um, whatever happens to you as far as electrical signals that come to you, if you don't become introspective and start looking at how you respond to what's happening to you in life and start to perfect yourself and start to see things where you're wrong and stop worrying about what other people did you wrong and worry about how you could do other things better, you'll never change reality. You'll never control your reality because you're always pointing the finger. 
There's always something introspective that you need to understand. This is healing neuromelanin 101. We have to rewire our neuromelanin 101. First of all, you're here. This is your chakra. You got to let it go. You got to let it free form. You got to let it do it. It's busting out of your head. It's the, your hair is literally energy taking form in the physical realm. So your hair is really a spirit, it's spirit energy, but it's taking form in this condensed realm. So at the end of the day, this is energy. And if you tamper with that, you are tampering with the neurons that create synopsis to your connection to the ether. You get what I'm saying? So while people look at us like we're crazy because we're in a world that is at a lower frequency of understanding what pure true life is. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we still can't be afraid to say what needs to be said and live what needs to be lived as an example. We still can't be afraid because we don't live in this world. Some people are like, yo, you're being too real. You can't tell everybody everything. No, they, th this must go out. I must not be ashamed before men so I will not be, so that, so my heavenly father will not be ashamed before me. My subconscious won't be ashamed before me mm -hmm. when it comes in heaven. And it's been written. We must speak at the top of our lungs. We must let our light shine before men. We, even though we're before our time, we must let our light shine before men. Not be afraid to be alone because people not like you. Don't be afraid because you're a weirdo. Know that you're scientifically backed up by objectivity. And that you're correct through mathematics. And everything is mathematics. This is why I could never hate someone that had a lighter pigment than me. It's funny that through all of my trials and tribulations that I've encountered in my tests and my obstacles and obstacle courses, the, 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 what they call Satan or the evil spirit, my, my lower self, has chanted through melanated people. The most evil things you could ever hear in your life has been said to me as I'm going through my obstacles. The things that people have said to me and are saying to me when I look it's always mostly a melanated being. Right now, as, I, as I'm reading my screen, I got a notification. And I guarantee you, if someone says something nasty to me, and the, the person that said it nasty to me is some melanated being, mm -hmm. I could never just say that it's a color thing. It's never, I, could, I, could, I couldn't be honest with you and, and, and say it's a color thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's not reflection. Look at the people that's hating on me. Look at the people that's saying the evil, nasty stuff they're saying about me, man. What color are they? Mm. And until you understand neuromelanin, then you will always be tricked by the devil. I'm giving you some jewels right now. You got to keep it real with yourself and look, look, reflection. Melanated people, they, they have you melanin, but they're neuromelanin. This is why I forgive them because they're euromelanin is not wired to understand what they're doing and it is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Everything they say about me is somewhere deep inside something they're dealing with themselves. Mm -hmm. It has none how you feel about me is none of my business. And I don't feel bad when people talk about me. I feel sorry for them. And I'm like, dude, that's how you deal with whatever trials and tribulations come your way when things don't look right, you make fun of people? Is that who you are? That's not very loving. That's not very understanding. Making fun of people, that's what you have time for? And in the Bible it says clearly, why do you talk about the speck in your brother's eye and not address the plank in yours? Rather talk about the plank in yours so that you can easily help the speck in your brother's eye. But people are in their neuromelanin. The astrological energies, the debilitations, like I told you, the demons with the their squares in opposition. Mm -hmm. They're stuck in their squares in oppositions within their birth chart. And I forgive them because they know not what they do. And these are my lower selves. So you'll never see me responding to none of that crap because it's like only thing I respond to is the pedophile thing because I actually said something out of my mouth that sound crazy. And so I wanted to clarify that for people. And I think that people deserve that. I, and my heart, my heart wasn't fat, like until I addressed it. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't feel good about that. I was like, yo, I have to address this. Some people was like, yo, you don't need to defend yourself at all. It wasn't me defending myself. It was giving clarity. 
to my reflection. Is the shit was crazy. I hurt myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Playing with my dick. Like, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. Yo, calm down. Relax. You know what I'm saying? And so I gave people my true heart about what happened. And I let the world deal with what they deal with because most people are only projecting themselves to themselves. And, I, and, and then I'm done with it. I'm back to teaching. You know what I'm saying? But I had to make that clear straight up because I don't play that. I was touched as a child. I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that a child doesn't know it exists until you tell it. You're Satan. You're the serpent that tempts it to eat the fruit that makes it mortal. The child is immortal, doesn't know it exists. So, with that being said, your color of your skin is only half the battle, man. Just because you're Caucasian or that people call you white or just because your skin is another color, let me tell you, I would never judge you off your skin alone because I'm smarter than that. I want y'all to take a minute and listen and go on YouTube and put Nature Boy Exposed in and you tell me what color are the people that talk about me dirty. And even if they have their own opinions about me, why not dress the principle? Why are y'all talking about my character? The most evil things have been said and done to me by melanated people. Why? By you melanated people. Why? Only one dude, one dude that didn't have melanin talked about me. And even he apologized. Everybody else, melanated peons. And I want you to pay attention to this. I will never judge somebody by the color of their skin. I will always judge them by their astrological birth chart. I will judge you by your astrological birth chart. Anybody that's wise is going to do the same thing. I love my self-reflection. Y'all share this video. Okay, this is very important that we understand neuromelanin. Share this with the so-called conscious community. Let's talk about neuromelanin. Let's talk about sexuality. Let's talk about these things so we can get over them and heal. We need to heal these about these things, man. There's a lot of hurt people out there. Hurt people hurt people. Let's heal people. I love y'all. Let's heal people. Keep it real, people. <laughs> I love myself. Peace.